The holidays, of course, are a great time to celebrate and spend some quality time with family, friends and pets. Some of the things that make celebrations festive this time of year can also be potentially harmful to those furry friends. Dr. Steve Marks is here with the North Carolina State College of Veterinary Medicine with some helpful advice to keep our holidays safe. You're always helpful this time of year. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. Many pet parents plan to include their furry companions in the holiday festivities. How do you plan a safe gathering? Well, I just the, the best advice is to use common sense, try and keep them away from the foods that we normally serve. They're not really designed for animal ingestion, uh, open flames like fires, uh, candles. Um, I would make sure that your decorations are secure. Cats love to jump on trees, play with tinsel, play with shiny lights. Uh, electrical lights need to be uh, at least safe, low voltage lighting. So there's lots of things you can do. I, the best advice I think is to compare, which most people do, compare their dogs and cats with their children. And so if the house is child safe, it's almost always pet safe. Whenever I make any holiday treats, it's not good for pets or humans. So what are some of those unhealthy holiday treats that uh, pet parents should avoid? Well, I think, you know, honestly, everything can be relatively dangerous, but most people are aware that grapes can be a hazard, chocolate can be a hazard, uh, but bones are probably not a good idea. Anything that's very fatty is not a good idea. So th these are these are foods that pets are just not used to ingesting. So it's better safe to just stick with the dog food and the cat food rather than the human food for our pets. That sounds like a good idea. And you mentioned earlier about the uh, the lights and things like that. Any tips on how to prevent Christmas decoration disasters? Well, the biggest thing is to make sure your trees are secured and that, that helps uh, safety for children as well so it can't be toppled over. Most of the lights are very, very safe, but if there's uh, an outlet close by, make sure that you put the, 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 the actual cords in a protective device. There's lots of things on the market to protect the cords from being chewed. So if a pet chews an electrical cord of any type, it can cause a lot of damage. And some people, of course, doctor, will be traveling with their pets as well. Anything they should keep in mind? Traveling is really, you know, really interesting because it's uh, it's safe for people in most cases if they wear seat belts. Most people are not prepared to restrain their pets when they're traveling. You often see dogs on laps and dogs out uh, with their heads out windows. Our recommendation is to use some type of restraint or a pet carrier because if you do get in an accident in the ice and the snow, uh, the pets are just as susceptible to you or maybe more susceptible to injury than you are. That's good to keep in mind. Dr. Marks, always around this time of year, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much for sharing your insight. Thank you. Happy holidays to you and all your viewers and their animal families.